Hello, friends. Welcome back to another day of Sounds and Words with me, Miss Hall, and Franny Fox. Hello, everybody. So glad you're all here. Let's begin by reading our learning target. Can you read it today, Franny? Sure. I can identify specific sounds and words. Good job. Let's begin with identifying the first sound we hear in words in a sentence. I'm gonna say sentences. All the words in the sentence are going to start with the same first sound. You're going to tell me what that first sound is. Are you ready? Say, happy hippos hunt. What's the first sound in those words? <sighs> yes. <sighs> Say, Peter Panda paints pictures. What's the first sound in all of those words? Puff. Yes. Puff. Say, Linda liked little Lucy's lizard. What's the first sound in those words? Oh, yes. Oh, let's try one more. Rowdy rabbits really run. What's the first sound you hear in those words? Rrr. Yes, rrr. good job identifying the first sound you hear in words and sentences. For our next activity, I am going to chop the first sound in the word and then the rhyme. The rhyme is the last chunk of a word. When I go like this, you're going to put the first sound and the rhyme together to say a real word. Let's give that a try. Fan, fan, ick, thick, b, ug, bug, ot, hot, k, id, kids. Great job putting a first sound together with its rhyme to make a word. For our next activity, I am going to say two words. You're going to tell me the final sound that both of those words end with. Are you ready? Franny, can you help us with this? Oh, sure I can. Great. Say nap, dip. What's the last sound? P yes. Say, mom, team. What's the final sound? Mm. Yes, mm. Say, said, sad. What's the last sound? D. Yes, d. Say, slug, tag. What's the last sound you hear? G. Yes, g. Great job identifying the final sound you hear in words. For our next activity, it's time for you to get your choppers out. I'm going to say a word. You are going to chop the first sound and then the rhyme. Let's give it a try. Say bun. Now chop bun. B, un. Great job. Say nap. Now chop nap. N, nap. Great job. Say got. Now chop got. G, got. Great job. Let's try one more. Say sip. Now chop sip. Sip. Super job breaking words down into its first sound and its rhyme. Now we are going to change the first sound in a word. When it go like this, you're going to say what our new word is. Are you ready? Say cat. Change k to b. Bat. Say bat. Change b to h. Hat. Say hat. Change h to s. Sat. Say sat. Change to pat. Great job changing the first sound in a word to make a new word. 
For our next activity, I am going to say the last chunk or rhyme of a word at a first sound. You go like this, you're going to say what the word is. Ready? Say ab, ad, k, cab. Good job. Say ed, ad, ul, lead. Say ib, ad, rr, rib. Say ob, ad, j, job. Super job adding a first sound onto a rhyme to make a word. Now we are going to start with a word. I'm going to take away the first sound. You're going to say what's left. Ready? Say mesh. Say it without m. Mm. Esh. Say his. Say it without h. Is. Great job. Say sock. Say it without s. Ock. Good job. Let's do one more. Say cup. Say it without k. Up. Super job taking away the first sound in a word and saying the rhyme or chunk that's left. Now our last activity is counting words and sentences. Oh yay, I love counting. That's awesome, counting is important. Here's our first sentence. Books are my good friends. Say that with me and put a finger in the air for each bird you hear. Books are my good friends. How many words, everybody? Five. That's right, five words. Here's our next one. She said yes. Say it with me. She said yes. How many words, everyone? Three, only three. That's right, three words in that sentence. Let's do one more. My aunt is nice to me. Say that with me. My aunt is nice to me. How many words was that, everybody? That was six. We needed two hands for that one. You're right, we did need two hands for that six word sentences. Good job counting words and sentences. And thanks for joining in with Sounds and Words. Thanks for helping us out today, Franny. Anytime, I love seeing all you Gilbert Park students. I love seeing all the Gilbert Park students too. We'll see you again next time.